Usiku wa Alhamisi mwenyekiti mtendaji CEO wa Tesla Elon Musk alizindua prototype yani mfano wa gari jipya la kampuni hiyo liitwalo Robovan katika hafla ya We Robot iliyofanyika Los Angeles. Robovan gari la umeme lenye uwezo wa kujiendesha lenyewe limeundwa kwa ajili ya kusafirisha watu na mizigo katika maeneo yenye watu wengi. Kwa mujibu wa Musk gari hilo linaweza kubeba abiria hadi 20 kwa wakati mmoja. Wakati gari hilo la kisasa likiingia kwenye jukwaa, Musk alionesha furaha kubwa kuhusu muundo wa baadaye wa gari hilo. Tutaifanya na itaonekana kama hivi, alisema. Hata hivyo, hakutoa maelezo zaidi kuhusu lini gari hilo litaanza kuzalishwa, gharama yake au tarehe ya kuzinduliwa. Robovan ina muonekano wa kipekee unaochanganya mitindo ya zamani na ya kisasa ya kisayansi. Mwili wake wa rangi ya fedha Maelezo meusi na mistari yenye mwanga inayoendana na ardhi inatoa muonekano wa kipekee ikikumbusha mchanganyiko wa basi kutoka kipindi cha The Jetsons na kifaa cha zamani cha kuokea mikate. Gari hilo lina milango inayoteleza na eneo la ndani lenye viti na nafasi ya kusimama. Yote kwa na madirisha yenye vioo vyeusi. Tofauti na magari ya kawaida, Robovan haina usukani ikisistiza uwezo wake wa kujiendesha lenyewe. Musk alieleza kuwa lengo la Robovan ni kubadilisha sura ya barabara sawa na Cybertruck ya Tesla. Mustakabali unapaswa kuonekana kama mustakabali. Alitania akirudia msemo wake maarufu. Ingawa mfano huo ulivutia hadhira, Musk hakutoa ahadi yoyote kuhusu lini gari hilo litaanza kuzalishwa. Pia hakueleza mipango ya kujenga viwanda vipya au kubadilisha vile vya sasa ili kuwezesha uzalishaji wa Robovan na Cybercab iliyotangazwa. Toleo dogo la Cybertruck yenye viti viwili. Inatarajiwa kuwa Cybercab itaanza kuzalishwa kufikia mwaka 2026 au 2027. Hafla ya We Robot iliangazia maono ya mustakabali wa Tesla ikiwa ni pamoja na magari ya kujendesha na taxi za robot. Musk alizungumzia kuhusu enzi za wingi yani age of abundance ambapo magari yanaojiendesha yatabadili magari yanayoendeshwa na binadamu kupunguza uhitaji wa maegesho na kuyabadilisha kuwa bustani. Alisema magari ya Tesla yaliyo na uwezo wa kujiendesha yenyewe kikamilifu FSD yanaweza kufanya kazi bila uingiliaji wa binadamu ambapo sheria zitaruhusu akitarajia kupitishwa kwa sheria hizo California na Texas mwaka ujao. Kwenye hafla hiyo pia kundi la robot za kibinadamu za Tesla zinazojulikana kama Optimus zilitembea pamoja na uzinduzi wa Robovan. Roboti hizo pia zilionekana kwenye video zikifanya kazi za kila siku za kibinadamu kama vile kuleta kifurushi kutoka kwenye baraza la nyumba na kumwagilia mimea ya bustani. Optimus watatembea miongoni mwenu, alisema Elon Musk kwa utani. Utaweza kuwasogelea moja kwa moja na watakuletea vinywaji. Musk alieleza kuwa roboti hizo kimsingi zinaweza kufanya chochote akitaja mifano kama kutembea na mbwa wako, kuangalia watoto wako, kukata nyasi na kukuletea vinywaji. Alisema itagarimu kati ya dola 2000 hadi 3000. Nadhani hii itakuwa bidhaa kubwa zaidi kuliko nyingine yoyote, alisema Musk. Baada ya wasilishaji, picha za matangazo ya moja kwa moja zilionyesha watu kushirikiana na robots za Optimus kwenye meza na miongoni mwa umati. Hata hivyo robot hizo hazikuwa zikifanya mengi zaidi ya kupeperusha mikono yao kwa mtindo wa Astrobot. Kulikuwa na meza ya vinywaji lakini robot ya Optimus haikuonekana ikifanya zaidi ya kuchikilia kikombe cha barafu. Hata hivyo robot moja iliweza kutoa mifuko midogo ya zawadi kwenye meza nyingine na kucheza michezo na wageni. Kulikuwa na gazebo iliyofungwa na kundi la robot wakicheza muziki ndani yake. Ingawa ahadi za Musk ni za kuvutia, wakosoaji kadhaa bado na mashaka. Ana historia ya kuweka mipango ya muda wa karibu ambao mara nyingi uchukua muda mrefu kufikiwa. Hata hivyo Musk anaendelea kuwa na imani kwamba teknolojia ya kujiendesha Tesla itazidi usalama wa magari yanaoendeshwa na binadamu kufikia mwisho wa mwaka huu. Hafla hiyo iliyokuwa ikiendeshwa moja kwa moja yani live kwenye mitandao ya kijamii pia ilionyesha magari ya msini ya Tesla yanayojiendesha yakiwa yanatembea kwenye maeneo ya Warner Bros. Japokuwa hafla hiyo ilianza kwa kuchelewa, hadhira haikuonekana kujali wakimshangilia Musk wakati wa uwasilishaji wake wa dakika ya 20 Tesla inapoendelea na malengo yake ya magari yanojiendesha wataalamu wengi wa sekta wanaamini kuwa itachukua miaka kadhaa zaidi kufikia teknolojia kamili na kupata idhini zinazohitajika kisheria ikiwa maono ya Musk ya mustakabali yatatimia bado ni swala la kusubiri na kuona I think the, the cost of autonomous transport will be so low that you can think of it like individualized mass transit Um, the, like the average cost of, of a bus per mile for a city 
um, not, not the ticket price because that is subsidized, but the average price is about a dollar a mile. Whereas the, the cost of uh, CyberCab, uh, we, we think probably over time, from the operating cost is probably going to be around 20 cents a mile. Um, and price, including taxes and, and everything else, probably ends up being 30 or 40 cents a mile. So, yes, and you will be able to buy one. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, and uh, we, we expect the cost to be below $30,000. Yeah. Yeah. So one of the reasons why oh, may, the, 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 the computer can be so much better than a person is that we have millions of cars that are training uh, in, on driving. So it's like, it's like living millions of lives simultaneously and seeing very unusual s situations that a person in their entire lifetime would not see, but <laughs> hopefully. Um, yeah, exactly. So, it's, it's, so with, with that amount of training data, it's obviously gonna be much better than what a human could be, because um, you can't live a million lives. Um, and it's also, it can see in all directions simultaneously, and it doesn't get tired or, or text or any of those things. So. Uh, it will naturally be, like, like I said, uh, 10, 20, 30 times safer than a human, just um, for all those reasons. Um, and and, and I, I want to emphasize that the, the solution that we have is, is AI and vision. So there's no um, expensive equipment needed. So the, the Model 3, Model Y, and SNX that we make today will be capable of full autonomy unsupervised. Um, and, and that means that our cost of producing the vehicle is, is low. Um, now, we, we are going to actually overspec the computer for the CyberCab. Uh, so, our, our AI5 computer um, will be somewhat overspec. And uh, because I think there's actually also an opportunity, sort of like an Amazon Web Services, where if the car is driving for 50, for 50 hours a week, there's still over 100 hours left. And it, it, there's a potential there to have a massive amount of distributed inference compute where if you've got like say a fleet of 100 million vehicles and a kilowatt of efficient inference compute, you have 100 gigawatts of, of compute, which is really quite substantial. Um, and uh, if it's there, you might as well use it. So um, yeah, so that's, that I think will make sense. So.
CHD Track. Wanasambaza magari bora ile undwa na Afrika kwa ajili ya Afrika kutoka China. Wanatengeneza malori yanayokidhi mahitaji yako maalumu. CHD Track. Ubora unaoaminika kwa bara la Afrika. Wasiliana nao sasa.